Hello, this is Mark James celebrating 20 plus years of professional massage therapy. I am a Georgia certified, nationally certified massage therapist. Today we're going to be addressing an issue that nags many, many, many Americans, sciatic entrapment. The three basic um, manifestations of sciatica. One can be a herniated disc, bulging disc. The other could be the deterioration of the spinal column, spinal spinosis. The other can be uh, piriformis, um, issue with the piriformis, where the piriformis is entrapped by the muscles surrounding it. Excuse me, and then it manifests, in, excuse me, the sciatic nerve can be entrapped by the piriformis, and that can lead to pain originating in this area, the sacrum all the way down the leg of the, the, um, the leg to the foot and it could be an, a burning sensation and incredibly nagging. So one of the things about trying to address this issue is the stretching part of the massage. Uh, so that's what we're basically going to do. The other thing I got to point out is the piriformis which starts from the sacrum to the greater trochanter and the thing about the sciatic nerve, how it comes through there, everybody's different. So the sciatic nerve can come through the um, piriformis itself, it can come underneath the piriformis, and it can also come on top of the piriformis. And when it becomes inflamed, that's when you get issues surrounding the sciatic nerve comes into play, and it can be very, very nagging. So that's a brief description of the problem. And today we're going to try to address it by stretching, um, muscle manipulation, and um, here we go. What I'm going to start doing is, oh, let me back up. The best way of, of really zeroing in on what causes sciatic is get an MRI. I've seen with many of my clients who will come in and tell me they had an MRI, and you can tell what is going on, whether there's a deterioration of the spinal column, where there is a herniated disc, and how that piriformis is, is entrapping the sciatica. Whether the sciatic nerve is coming through it, it's going on top of it, going below it, etc. So, what we're going to start basically is, is palpitating. We're going to just try to warm up these, these muscles. Okay, you're going to just see me just simple squeeze and compression. Simple squeeze and compression. And after I just started to basically warm up the muscle, and then we're going to go into a basic Swedish and try to get these guys in a real happy mood. Get the muscles in a real happy, happy, happy mood. So this is just basic compression. And then just another way of me saying, hello, I am here. There we go. And then we're going to do a little bit of a test and lift the leg up. And this is how the piriformis has become engaged. I'm going to hold my thumb, it's going to go right here. And I'm going to bring the foot this way while stabilizing it here. There. Bring it back down. Up. And I just do this three times. The client hasn't jumped off the table, so I guess it's, it's good. Up. And you're going to bring it down, bring it across like this. Okay. So that's a brief introduction of what the issues that we're facing. Um, as I proceed, you can have the client get under the sheet and we're going to start doing our nice routine to address the issue with sciatica. And going up down the, the calves, and working just both sides of the popliteal hamstrings. And then one thing about the hamstrings is that the sciatic nerves are run the same direction as the, the hamstring. So they're going to be engaged during the massage session. And we will get the issues 
resolve or less pain. You know, try to make sure, try to get the client to feel better than when they came in. Anyway, this is Mark James. Thank you for dropping it. Please smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Our next video will be doing some work on addressing the uh, sciatic entrapment issue. Thank you.